Okay, so I'm going to be brief here. Um, I gave my talk here a month ago about cucumber and how and why you should love it. And since then, I've been hearing from so many people with questions about intermediate and advanced testing topics. So next month, I'm going to be starting a Ruby testing group for developers. And we're going to meet at the offices of Renew Financial. Thank you, Renew. And our first meeting is going to be December 14th. That's the second Monday in December at 6 p.m. We are still looking for speakers for this meeting. So that's my main purpose in announcing us tonight. If you have something to say about a testing topic, please come see me. I would love to have you discuss that topic with the group. Yes? Specific to Ruby testing? Specific to Ruby testing, although, I, as, <laughs> although oddly enough, I think we're going to be having a JavaScript testing talk the first meeting as well. So. It's, it's, it, it, JavaScript's pretty much Ruby too. So um, I figure since so many of us are web developers and a lot of us consider ourselves full stack web developers, I know JavaScript testing issues are something that I have struggled with in the past and would, um, every time I meet JavaScript engineers, I ask them about their testing approach to this day. So I'm interested to hear what that person has to say. Yes. I would really like it if somebody would give a talk on how to properly uh, configure um, like the Capybara plugins that work with JavaScript. Because like I have something that I think works, but I have no idea if it actually works in terms of like resetting my database between tests. Yeah, yeah. Is it, uh, like, you mean like Thursday and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, talk to me Thursday. Yeah. Like, yeah, I have some thoughts on that. <laughs> but, um, I, mean, I don't know if you've ever seen like the configuration for like Phantom JS uh, with RSpec. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like 20 or 30 lines. Like, if you look at Aki Grimm's configuration, it's incomprehensible to like a normal human being. You're using Poltergeist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny. Uh, yeah, let's compare notes because okay. I, I don't recall it being that quite that involved. Yeah. Yes. Is, uh, is it just me or is Cucumber kind of seeing a second wind? I am, I really don't know about that. I only know the reaction that, the, how people react when I talk to them about it. I contribute to Cucumber. And people give me this sidelong look like, I don't know about that, man. Um, so, <laughs> um, so, I definitely get mixed reactions to it. Some people, a few people think it's awesome. More people look askance. So, yeah, Chuck. Um, why not November for a change? I want to learn more about because you guys are moving and it's nuts. Oh, okay. yeah, right. so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we couldn't quite make that happen. But um, yes, and there will be pizza. So, that's. That's the one thing that we can give you that the web tutorials can't provide. So, uh, so yeah, definitely I'll be here until the end. Come up and talk to me. Oh, we have a website. I will write it on the wall. And I will do it in erasable marker. You can write it in the middle there if you want to look Sure. The whole wall is OK, I think. You might be the first person to write there, actually, ever. Our, URL is testrubypdx.org. And I'll let you in on a little secret. If it's extremely slow, it's not an unexplained performance problem. It's that I was too cheap to buy the dyno on Heroku. So you are waiting for the server to boot. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll happen. <laughs> All right, so I think unless there are other questions, I, I'm done. Oh, yeah, and actually Cucumber, the Cucumber core team incidentally is working on revamping that entirely. And it's, that's, that's what I, was, I guess that's what I meant to ask earlier, because when I got 
decided to do cucumber and it was about two years ago and I know a lot but it seemed like for a long time nothing had changed. So I guess yeah. I yeah, I don't know exactly what it is that they have planned. Um, they wanted they want to make it more like turnip. I've never used turnip before, so I don't know exactly what that would look like. But but yeah, the the way it's actually going to work is that we're going to have an hour or so devoted to conversation and peer mentoring. So so that's when you can come in and talk to other people and get your questions answered and stuff like that. And then we'll also have talks. So. Um, so definitely, I'm happy to hear input on what people would like to hear about. Thank so yeah, thank you.